YouTube, YouTube, it's Rico, man. I'm back with another video, man. Y'all see what we got going on. We got Sick Babylon KM. Uh, Y'all pretty much know what time it is, man. Brand new to the channel, or you've been watching videos on the channel, but not yet, subscribe. Please hit that subscribe button now. Also, don't forget to tell your family and friends about the channel as well, and hopefully they become supporters of the channel. And also, do not forget to turn on your post notifications so you guys get notified when I drop new videos, and be sure you do not miss out on new videos. Check out the channel every day, no matter the time of the day, just because you don't want to miss out, and because sometimes the post notifications do not work at all whatsoever. And also, I did forget to say, also, make sure you guys don't forget to smash that like button, comment on the video to help the video get recommended to a large audience of people hopefully bring new supporters to the channel because that'll help the video out in the algorithm and stuff like that and also don't forget to um add and follow me on social media all my social media um pages are listed down below in the description box as well as in the intro of the video so you shouldn't have a hard time at all finding me on social media with that said man we got the english lyrics so we gonna be able to fully see what sick is rapping about um this is my first time ever having english lyrics for them on the song and stuff like that so it's good to finally be able to now for sure know what exactly he does be rapping about even though we just know he talented and stuff like that even if we don't know what he's saying and stuff and based off the feedback that is under his videos in the comment section by others and stuff like that so they really support him and he's really a great artist even when i was reacting to him back then without english lyrics i just knew he had the talent because he was able to flow rap and do a scene rap type of style as well and stuff like that so a lot of algeria um rap artists are able to do that type of style of rap where they able to rap regular or scene rap and stuff like that so he's just one of those um, artists as well that can do that but with that said man um y'all know what time it is go ahead and start the screen record that started and starting to be no Now, before I do read the lyrics, I do want to touch on a few things. One, beat definitely slapping. Um, this low key sound like a beat if you're in a freestyle because the way his flow and everything the way he's rapping on this song on this beat is pretty much sounding like it's a freestyle so either way even if this ain't a freestyle because usually artists would put that it's a freestyle in the title section of the video um when they got a music video uploaded and stuff but i don't see it on the title so i can assume that this is just a regular song instead of an actual freestyle but I wouldn't have a problem with him at all if he was to say that this was a freestyle because it just got that freestyle feel to it and stuff like that. So it just goes to show, like I said, he got the talent, man. So you can't you can't discredit him at all just because when he raps, it would seem like sometimes he's also able he's freestyling at a at a some point. But at the end of the day, either way, this is definitely a banger so far, man. I just definitely like the feel that it got that it's got that freestyle feel to it and stuff. So. With that said, man, we're gonna go here, rewind it back a little bit, and then continue on. Pendant sa lamandela, la coulée de trame, et puis la bla pause, et tu clèbes vraiment de la bla pause. Et tu veux te l'idée de la corde, pas de 5 ans, pas de l'incense. Pas si n'a l'autre, mais c'est le même si n'a l'autre. Classita, gallo, kate n'a bizarre, lol, as, as, hip cas, mike, um, tracé, car, prop, du tracé, optimacé, du tracé, parlant. Classic, <laughs> 
بار ماني شاني كومباتي هم بار قولوا لنا رايكم كون ديروا كي البار روح على جامايكا نجيب الكيف هم بار هربا منها طيران حيت قصيرة قصيرة قعدتو نسنا قصيرة بنتقاتلو لوزنا طيران انا ما تحركش راسك في كادي لاك حرك رجليك Alright, I'm gonna pause it right there because we getting ready to look at the lyrics, but man, I just gotta say, I'm definitely seeing him reference a lot of stuff. Godzilla, he referenced, um, pretty much what else he referenced? He just referenced something else. And Cadillac and all that stuff. He referenced a few things and stuff, but man, he snapped on his song. So with that said, man, this is pretty much, let me make sure, yep, this is the start of the lyrics right here. Obviously, it's still some words that that can't be translated to English, and y'all already know um, in Algerian language, it's words that really can't be translated in other languages outside of Algerian language. So it is what it is, man. Like I told y'all in the other videos, but for y'all that's brand new, that's pretty much what I was saying back then. Even people that's from there already said the same thing and stuff. And sometimes even they sales can't understand some of the things these artists say or are rapping about. So it just goes to show you, man, it's, it's definitely, super talent over there in rapping so with that said man it's just good to see that i'm not the only one on the outside obviously i'm not from there and stuff to know and realize this and stuff so with that said man we're gonna go ahead and continue on i ain't gonna read everything word for word just because y'all can see it and read it for yourselves and y'all can pause the video if y'all want to read everything it's a sticky one so I wonder if this is a name of somebody or or y'all something that y'all got that's meaning something in y'all language. Y'all let me know pretty much if this is a name of someone or if it's just the name of something else that's not a person. But he says it's a sticky one. So yeah, I gotta I, I wonder what he mean right there. Cause I don't know if he's talking about a person or something else at that point. People practice so every track is a psycho that has the man. So I wonder if he's saying like pretty much all artists pretty much just pretty much try to do their music as best they can based off the demands that the supporters want to see them rap about or whatever the case may be and stuff like that to showcase that they really do got talent for real. So I wonder if that's what he's referring to right there. I don't know what this possibly means and what that part means why he put those two together so y'all let me know what that means right there not Plato. y'all let me know what that means right there i don't want you to say home we look for concrete instead of anything come back to a mistake that doesn't matter we look for concrete instead of anything come back to a mistake that doesn't matter i ain't gonna lie it definitely sound like this really got some real meaning behind it. I just can't really figure that out. I'm a little confused on that. And I'm not afraid to say that just because either way, man, everybody ain't going to understand everything a rapper is rapping about, like I said earlier in the videos. But I feel like this is definitely something important just because he says they look for concrete instead of anything. So he's basically saying they're looking for one thing that's very valuable or important, whatever the case may be instead of just any old thing like like you know how if you were a treasure hunter you're not just going to look for anything you're looking for specifically a set of treasure somewhere that needs to be found because it's worth a whole ton of money so you ain't just if you're a treasure hunter you're not just going out there looking for random regular things that don't really have value you're gonna look for stuff that really got importance and a high amount of value and stuff like that if that makes sense well, it should make sense. That's what a treasure hunter is anyway. And he's saying to also come back to a mistake that doesn't matter. So I wonder if he's saying, yes, mistakes that happens. But we all know, like, sometimes some of those mistakes don't matter. Like, like say you mistakenly, say you ordering you some food or whatever the case may be and stuff but you order something that you really didn't understand you was just ordering something just to order it and you realize that it's not for you so yeah it's a mistake on your end because you ordered something that you didn't really know about so it's kind of a mistake on your part but it's nothing too crazy because you was you didn't already you already knew what you was ordering pretty much in the sense that even though you didn't understand what it is, you just knew you wanted to order it just to try it out type shit. So, 
maybe it was a mistake, but it's not something that's super important. So with that said, it definitely got to be something serious right here that he's referring to. And I think there are those who say it was not the land that it did, but it was not the land that it did. I wonder what he means right there. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. Cause he said, it say it was not the land of the dead, but it was not the land of the dead. So I wonder what he mean right there. But Maliot, you know. So I wonder if this is the name of somebody right here or if it was something else as well. Because he's basically saying that whatever that thing is or person, they know type shit like what he's saying right there they know what he's talking about i'm assuming so i wonder if that's what he's pretty much saying right there that they know what he's talking about whoever that person or a specific thing is i was going to be godzilla walking clicking mozilla beat run away by those ear la opposite back correspondence uh la madilla I wonder what he mean right there but he's pretty much basically saying he's referring to himself as godzilla at that point because he said I was going to be Godzilla so you already know if you know about Godzilla you know what Godzilla is like he pretty much super powerful and he just it's hard to beat him in a fight for real like there's only certain villains against him or enemies against him that we seen able to hold their own against Godzilla but pretty much we still know that Godzilla is just one of those those creatures that's just super powerful and hard to beat for real in a fight so other than that, I wonder if that's basically why he mentioned Godzilla, referenced Godzilla right there pretty much. So I don't know who he might be referring to right here. He's basically saying that they would play you a shadow at the door, a blank. I don't, I don't understand some of these because some of these are, like I said, still not really... In English translation, so some of these things won't be able to be translated to English, so maybe y'all would know right there. Still, we do. Didn't forget, I blame that. So, it's something right here that it gotta be something serious, because then he's saying he's blaming. I would assume this is a person for sure. So, he's pretty much saying he's blaming somebody for something that's going on and stuff, pretty much. Then, laugh out loud. So, He's pretty much saying he knows some real stuff going on behind some of the things that he's focused on uh, reality and stuff like that. I, I would assume that's pretty much what he's referring to, stuff that's going on and reality and shit like that around there. And he just pretty much know about everything he rapping about pretty much. Like it's got some real true meaning. Cause like I said, these artists from Algeria usually rap about meaning, meaning thing, meaningful things. That's the word I'm looking for, meaningful. So they be usually rapping about meaningful things that got a lot of uh, value to it and stuff like that, or importance. So, head with your glass, mic in a rap, car is going to be lost, oh, see a taste that is in the language of a papillon. Yeah, that right there, I ain't gonna lie, I don't understand that. So I ain't gonna say too much on that part. It's no longer occurring in a suit to melt the color. She says she's a green papillon. Y'all let me know what that is then. Because he referenced this right here, papillon. papillon. I'm probably saying it wrong, so sorry for the mispronunciation if I am. But he's pretty much referenced this twice now. So y'all let me know what that pretty much is. Like, what is that? Is that an animal or is that something? Like, I don't know. I, I can't even think of the word as well to say, like, what this would be in a as a reference or an example of something. So pretty much, I'm gonna just say, y'all let me know what is this as an example of? Like, what does this refer to? Is this something like an animal or what? Y'all let me know. So he's saying pretty much servants, Servants during the day of any repentance go and take a cup at night. So I wonder if he's saying like pretty much those people who can't do certain things during the day, but at nighttime, that's when they go ahead and do some things that's 
that people won't really be noticing because it's at nighttime. Y'all know how it is during the day. It's a lot going on. It might be a lot of people around somewhere in a certain location and stuff, but then at nighttime, it's quiet as a mouse and it ain't really too many people out at all. Or if anybody, uh, it's probably only a very little few amount of people out wherever that location is. And then the servants is pretty much the people they, they can't do certain things during the day around those large amounts of people. But at nighttime, that's when they're able to go get the stuff that they need or whatever the case may be that they can't get during the day and stuff just because it's probably not allowed for them to do that during the day when there's a lot of people in that location or something. So y'all let me know if I'm, if I'm spot on when I said that or if I'm wrong in that, um, in that um, situation right there that I just tried to explain. They won you did in the middle of the hard code. I'm not a compadre. Y'all let me know what that means because I know for sure I don't know what that means right there. And then tell us your opinion. We'll do like yesterday. So he's pretty much saying they, whoever that may be, want certain people pretty much dead in the middle of the heart code. So in the heart code, I wonder if he meaning like making people heart code or he just saying just pretty much like y'all pretty much see what he's saying right here i would assume that he's pretty much just saying that obviously it's a group of people that probably want certain people pretty much dead and it's just they don't want no type of importance to those people that they want dead they just want them people dead for a certain reason or whatever the case may be and it's not really too much explained as to why they would want them dead And then he says, and then tell us your opinion. So he's pretty much saying, you give us give us the opinion on a certain situation that's going on that he's referencing. It's pretty much, y'all let me know down below what y'all think he's talking about right there. And now he's saying, go to Jamaica, bring the quality and plant. I wonder what he mean by quality and plant. I think I might know, but I could be wrong. So y'all let me know down below if I'm if y'all thinking what I'm thinking or if y'all know exactly what he's referring to at that point. But I feel like I think I know what he's talking about right there. But we ain't going to say it because y'all know how YouTube is. Running away from it is forced to live a short life. So I'm pretty much assuming he's saying like if you're running away from a certain situation... It's not gonna solve anything, but lead you to a short life. So it's, I'm assuming he's saying if you don't deal with this problem head on, it's gonna ultimately cost you a short lived life, pretty much. I wonder if that's pretty much what he's saying. And then he says pirates conflict. I know this means something. I know it don't mean, I don't think it mean literal pirates, but I know I seen a few Algerian rap artists mention pirates in their songs before. So maybe they is possibly talking about real life pirates or they're referring to pirates as in something else. Y'all let me know down below if I'm right or wrong. We had difficulties, fight for weight on the mirror here. Don't move your head and Cadillac move your leg. Go see how Syria is on Lyra's. So I wonder if he's saying like pretty much go and look at what Syria got going on. And then Lyra's, I'm assuming is a group of people or uh, what you want to call it. I'm assuming Lyra's is a group of people or something like that, but I could be wrong. Y'all let me know. But he's pretty much saying Syria, Syria is pretty much got something going on against or a part of this group of people or thing y'all let me know down below because Lyra's I could be wrong I, they could be a group of people or it could mean something else unless you're lucky and ponderous so he pretty much saying right here this is basically like Syria got something serious going on and you don't want to pretty much go up against this so he's pretty much saying Unless you're lucky and ponderous, meaning you're not affected by what Syria got going on on Lyra's. So I'm pretty sure that's pretty much what he's saying right there. there. But I feel like we're at the part where he's at in the song now. So we're going to go back to the song.
Yeah, we're pretty much at where he at because he mentions Cadillac right there and Cadillac is mentioned right here. So he's definitely, we're a little bit ahead of him. So we're going to go back to the music, rewind it a little bit and continue on. And I'm probably not going to stop it again until it's close to the end of the video. I like his voice on this one. Um, that senior rap style is definitely made for this song right here. Um, definitely goes really well with the beat. Everything just sound perfect, man. He definitely did his thing on this one, man. Um, like I said, he's a very talented artist, man. And so can't take nothing away from him, man. He does it all on his songs and he just puts out bangers. It's just that simple, man. As simple as that. He's doing his own hooks, everything, verses, hooks, all that. He don't he don't he he one of those artists where you don't need a feature to make a great song. Like he could literally do everything on the song that you would need him to do, pretty much, period. So other than that, man, that just goes to show his talent, man. Like I said. But other than that, we're gonna rewind it just a little bit and continue on. Yeah, he did his thing on this one, so he pretty much finished. Now we're gonna go ahead and read the rest of the lyrics. So we right here, pretty much we stopped pretty much right here because he was just mentioning Cadillac. So that's it. Go right here. You have no time for a class except for you, you disease the nerves. Seco B head. So I wonder if this is an actual person or he just referencing people to something of these words right here. So he's pretty much saying you have no time for a class except for you disease. So I wonder if he's saying you have no time for certain people but you have time for the people that's bad like there because he's saying you except for you disease so when he say you disease i wonder if he's assuming like people that's pretty much bad and don't do nothing positive they're just they pretty much not having time for the people that's about positivity and upgrading in life but they got time for the people that's not doing anything good and stuff like that and against the good people and stuff so but y'all let me know. I could be wrong when I'm wrong talking about that. To make you a language of repetition in every place by a, by a rap idea. It's not a school. So pretty much he's saying like, they's trying so hard to force certain people into doing certain things as if it's like school. But in reality, the things that they trying to make them do is not really anything has to it's not really having anything to do with school for real like if that's the case 
he's pretty much saying like if this was about a school or whatever the case may be then we would be in some type of school for the things that they trying to make these people do but y'all let me know man could be wrong on that too so i think some of this he says before and he just repeats it pretty much Come out, they said, our story is going to be on my head with your last amigo in the rap car is going to be lost to taste the task in the language of Papa too. Yeah, so this got to definitely be in a reference to something. It's not an actual person, but something. Y'all let me know what that could be referred to. So he's pretty much saying they said their story is going to be on my head with your glass amigo in the rap car is going to be the lost the taste of Tassi. So I'm pretty su uh, much assuming that he's pretty much saying the people that he's referring to, their story is going to pretty much be on his head. I don't know. I, I'm confused a little bit. Well, he said our. So he's pretty much saying him and others. So, yeah, he's pretty much saying him and other stories, like personal life stories or whatever the case may be, is going to be on his head. It's pretty much like a weight on his shoulders or something that this people right here, because he says when Star doesn't come out, they said. So whoever they is, is pretty much the people that he's referring to throughout this whole song. And whatever those people are, they're pretty much against him and the people that's like him pretty much i'm assuming so it's almost like pretty much you got the upper class of people against the minority class of people uh, that's how i pretty much put that example so pretty much the the upper class people is pretty much putting everybody's story since he's one of the main top people speaking for the minority putting all their problems and everything on his weight and sh on his head and shoulders pretty much as a weight like a weight uh, to hold him back or pretty much whatever the case may be so they can pretty much do whatever their goal is to do against him and people like him pretty much but i could be like i said wrong in everything i'm talking about and saying but y'all let me know so so, so right here no longer appears in the curtain of blue the mother color says my mind green you see it from afar you look at it. molly was near cycle to tell me service and any represents during the day tell you and cuba at night yeah so unless i know what this means i'm still not gonna understand fully everything he's rapping about but like i said i can just tell a lot of this is a meaning to got some real serious meaning behind it for real So pretty much at the end of the day, the person he's referring to right here is died, even though that somebody else was looking and searching for them and stuff like that. So whatever the case may be, it's definitely got a serious meaning behind it and what he's referring to. So it's a lot going on throughout this song that got a lot of serious importance. That's pretty much the long story, short, short summary, pretty much to explain this whole song. You are the photo constant law. You are only in you. This is all my opinion that they divorce looking okay. So he's pretty much saying everything that he's been saying is pretty much his opinion. And that whoever the people that he's referring to, they divorce looking okay. So saying like these people just agreed to divorce. And I guess that was supposed to be an okay for them to do at that time. Stuff, something like that but that's pretty much the end um yeah man that's pretty much the end of the video man so if you guys enjoyed my reaction to the video itself this video is long so i'm gonna go ahead and end it 
If you enjoyed the video, my reaction, or whatever the case may be, man, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to tell your family and friends about the channel as well. And hopefully they become supporters of the channel. And also make sure you guys smash that like button and comment on the video to help the video out in the algorithm and hopefully get this video recommended to a larger audience of people and hopefully bring new supporters to the channel as well. Don't forget to turn on post notifications so you guys get notified when I drop new videos and be sure you don't miss out on new videos. Check out the channel every day, no matter the time of the day, just because you never know when I'm going to drop and you don't want to miss out in because the post notifications sometimes do not work. So you don't want to rely on them too much. And also don't forget to add and follow me on social media. All my social media platforms are listed down below in the description box as well as in the intro of the video so you shouldn't have a hard time at all finding me on social media. With that said, man, that's the end of the vid and I'm gonna catch you guys later on more. So stay tuned. Peace.